my channel. It's been a minute, but I am going to talk a little bit about what's in my medicine cabinet. I got my box here, so stick around and I'll let you know what's in it. Before I jump into the video, I have recently hit a thousand subscribers. And I am super, super grateful for that. So if you're here and you've stuck around and um, shown support, made comments, whatever it might be, I so, so appreciate it. Um, I know I do not put a lot of content out, but I really put things out thoughtfully. And if you're interested in seeing daily stuff, daily um, posts and that sort of things, head over to my Instagram page and um, add a better way to health. I'll put a little handle here and I'm on there all the time. Okay, let's hop right in. As I've shown before, I have my little medicine box here. I keep a lot of these sort of containers in um, underneath my counter in my bathroom. It's an easy way. I have them all labeled. You can get a really cheap label maker at target.com. I think I got this one from just to keep things organized. Okay, first up, I'm going to talk a little bit about homeopathic medicine. Um, I really like the brand Borean, 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 something like that. This looks like that. You can get this on Amazon and a lot at like your normal or local health food shop. This is their Oscillokinium. Not going to say that right, but you can see it here. It is for flu-like symptoms for ages um, two and older. This is something that you want to take immediately, like as soon as you start feeling flu-like symptoms, so body aches, fever, chills, fatigue, whatever it might be. They are these little pellets, and I'll show you one. They come in like these little vials, and then you just pop that off, and there's like little tiny beads or pellets, and you just pop it underneath it in your mouth, and you let it um, just dissolve. So super easy to take, super easy for kids to take as well. And this really does help. We love this. I had the flu, I want to say a couple years ago. Um, it was terrible. But this is a great thing to have on hand. Um, and I did not have these on hand when I got the flu either. So bad idea. Homeopathic medicine works better if you can stay ahead of your symptoms. So as soon as you feel something coming on, pop one of these in your mouth. This one is for flu-like symptoms, but they also make one for cold symptoms. So this is called their Cold Calm for sneezing, runny nose, nasal congestion, minor sore throat. These were, are a little bit different. They're little tablets. They almost look like, like aspirin. Um, and you pop them underneath your tongue and let them dissolve. It helps fight off those cold symptoms that you might have. This one is for kids three and over but they do make one that is a liquid form for babies six and over. Next up is some natural cough syrup. This is from Zarbies. This is the cough syrup and mucus plus muscus. That's a weird name. This one is good for any ages, adults, children, you name it. Um, obviously, if your child is under one, you do not want to give them honey. I would say this is for 12 months and older. This one has dark honey and ivy leaf extract in it, which helps coughing and to clear mucus. And it actually has a natural grape flavor as well. So my kids take, do really well with this. They take it just fine. Looks like it also has vitamin C in it and zinc, which is um, great for immune boosting and when you're sick, zinc is really, really good for you. We also use raw, straight honey as well if we have a cough. Anything that is gonna coat your throat is beneficial, and also honey is very antibacterial and antiviral, so it's a great one to have on hand. Soothe the throat when it is scratchy and feels yucky and full. Next up from Zarbies as well is the baby chest rub. So this is for babies. I've used this myself. I use it on my older kids as well. This has eucalyptus, lavender, and beeswax in it. This is what you would use in place of something like a Vicks vape, Vapor Rub. It works almost exactly the same. It helps open up your nasal pathways, helps you breathe better, also helps that tightness that you can get in your chest when you have a cold. It just kind of soothes everything. I really like this stuff. On to another symptom that you might get when you have a cold or when you're sick is ear aches, ear pain, ear fullness, whatever it might be. A great thing to have is the garlic ear oil. This one is from Herb Farm. 
Um, I have a kids version as well, but honest, I, honestly, I think they're exactly the same. You just put one to two drops in your ear and you can do that a few times a day, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, you can do two to three times a day. This is a really good one. My, my children don't mind me putting in their ears. I think it helps, it soothes your ear. It's also has, obviously it has garlic in it. That is antibacterial, antiviral as well, which is going to kick out any of the nasties that are in the ear or the germs that are hanging out there. We also do elderberry in my house. Um, obviously these are just whole berries. We get them from, I think I got these from herb.com, iherb.com, uh, Frontier Co-op, whole elderberries. Obviously do not eat whole elderberries, but I'm gonna probably do a video on how we make elderberry syrup. If you're not familiar with elderberry syrup, it has great immune boosting properties. We take it as a maintenance thing, and if we do get sick, we up the dosage while we are sick for the duration of our cold or sickness or whatever we might have. So it's a staple in our house. Lastly, I am gonna move on to a couple essential oils that we use. Of course, I can't have a medicine cabinet without essential oils. You know that that is my jam. So I use all throughout the fall and winter time, I'm using Immune Aid from Plant Therapy and I'm using Germ Fighter from Plant Therapy as well. I diffuse these and I use these on the bottom of my feet, my husband's feet and my children's feet whenever they are sick. I actually use Immune Aid quite often just to help fight off germs and strengthen my immune system even when I'm not sick. So that's a good one to have on hand. I'm constantly diffusing Germ Fighter as well, even if we're not sick, to kind of cleanse the air as well. This one is made up of lemon, clove bud, eucalyptus, cinnamon, cassia, and rosemary. Really good ones. And then the Immune Aid has frankincense, tea tree, oil, rosemary, lemon, eucalyptus, and orange oil. So very similar, both really great oils and very affordable. So I would definitely stack up on these. If you are suffering from clogged ears, so if you have a cold and you know how your ears can get plugged up from all the fluid and stuff that's moving around, I use three different oils to kind of help drain my ears. And they are tea tree oil, lavender, and peppermint and you can dilute these. So basically I start with my tea tree oil and this one's from Plant Therapy. Put uh, like a drop and then a bit of fractionate, fractionated coconut oil. I just simply rub it down like my ear canal on the outside of my ear. Don't put anything, don't put essential oils in your ear. Do not wanna do that, not a good idea. Always just put it around the ear. It'll be just as effective. So just rub it down your ear and um, kind of up on the side here of the ear, even on the ear lobe itself. And then you repeat that with the lavender and then the peppermint oil. And then you can also gently pull on your ear well after you've rubbed that just to kind of move some of the um, blockage. And it feels really, really good on your ear. I guarantee it will make you feel better. It will help move some of that gunk out of your ears and help it open up and drain um, down your uh, neck and down your throat. Okay, that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. I just wanna close this video by saying um, we do lots and lots, lots of different things to help boost our immune system. This is just simply stuff that we use in case we do get sick. Um, it's important to be eating, eating a whole organic diet, getting enough rest, reducing stress, all those good things are important to build a strong immune system so that when you do get sick, your body has the best chance of fighting it off. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.